Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we have a little update on Loki. Well, I have to say, there's probably not a character that has a bigger fan base inside the MCU than the God of Mischief. His Disney Plus series left us on an amazing cliffhanger, and this has led to a ton of speculation on where we're going to see Loki again. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about what Tom Hiddleston had to say about this, and where I believe he will actually next appear. Now before we dive into this though, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. Also, our big giveaway. We're going to give away this Oculus Quest 2 at 50,000 subscribers. All you need to do to get in on our giveaway is be a subscriber and leave us a comment. Well, like I was saying, there's probably not a character who has a bigger fan base in the MCU than Tom Hiddleston's Loki. He entered the MCU way back in 2011, and he was not only a huge part of the Infinity arc, but his storyline now is playing key in the development of the multiverse for the MCU. Now, by the end of the first season of Loki, the God of Mischief found himself trapped in a new timeline, where Kang the Conqueror rules over the TVA. There has been a ton of speculation for quite a long time on where he'll appear next, and there are several projects that have possibilities. Recently, the actor was talking to GameStar, and they did ask him a little bit about this, and his answer was Marvel vague. He said, I'm living in a question mark. It's all unknown. You know, I used to think I could predict these things, but I literally have no idea. I'm not even doing an Andrew Garfield. I just don't know. So, it does appear he's not very sure where he will appear next. But keep in mind, he's an actor, he knows what he's doing, and he's been with Marvel for over a decade. So he's quite experienced at this game, and I highly doubt he would give away any specifics on his next appearance. Now, as for Loki Season 2, he did have a little bit to say. During the interview, he added, What can I say? It's very much continuing to excite and challenge me. At the end of Season 1, the story isn't over. I think that's really clear. Loki's almost more unstable, and as turbulent and passionate and chaotic as he's ever been. And maybe some of that needs resolution. There's stuff to unpack. Now, I do think the second season of Loki is going to deal some amazing cards to the God of Mischief. Although, right now, we have no idea when that's going to happen. Obviously, we're going to have to get through Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Thor Love and Thunder, and probably Ant-Man Quantumania before we get any answers to this question. Now, I do want to throw in a little prediction here. We are getting Thor Love and Thunder in just a few months, and I personally believe those scenes of Thor staring off into the sunset, they are at the conclusion of that film. I do indeed think Loki will reappear in the final seconds or the post credit scene to that film, but just long enough to say hello but not long enough to provide any story details on how he got there. He's a time traveler now, so does it really matter? Now in any case, once we hear any more about Hiddleston and Loki or the MCU, obviously we're going to bring it to you right away. But I gotta know what you guys think. Where do you think the God of Mischief will show up again in the MCU? And do you think his character plays a big part in whatever's coming in the future from Kevin Feige? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you're not getting any updates. Peace.